Hey YouTube, it's JP Dillon. We're going to dive back into the Aztec. This is the only schematic diagram I was able to find. This is uh, from Gherkins, I think, or Jerkins, or something. I don't know. It's kind of like a Riders, but it's uh, a little bit different. Uh, this was in the 1932 volume. Couldn't find one before that, couldn't find one after that. And this appears to have the complement of tubes that I need, so it's a close match. And so uh, I'm looking at the readings, and I noticed that pretty much like I thought, they were all a little bit low. And someone's been in here before, myself, and so you've got this big control dropping resistor over here, and then the filament, <coughs> excuse me, the high voltage coming out of the rectifier that I have tacked in there is actually decent. It's just a hair around 400, and they say the AC is supposed to be 375. It actually measures around 387, so it's a little high there. But after, after the rectifier here, we go into the field coil for the speaker. It's 2,500 ohms. It actually measures 2480 something. But on the low side of this, we've got only about 170 something volts right now. 178, and according to this, it should be around 215 to 235. So there's a lot of drop going through here. But then, more importantly, uh, <clears throat> we get to this point here. That says 17,000 ohms. That seems a little much. I'm wondering if that's a misprint. Uh, what they've got in here is a 1.5K. And if we go on the top side, we can see our 170-something volts. But on the low side, we've only got 74 volts. So there's a 100-volt drop across this thing, and this is getting really hot. So I'm wondering if there's a bad tube, if there's still a short somewhere. Uh, on the plate of the output tube, I'm getting the 175, and on the screen, I'm getting 160-something. So again, low. And then we come over here to our RF tubes, and things are like really low. Uh, now on the screen for the RF tubes, we're supposed to get 45 to 65 volts. And I forget which one of these is the screen pin. But on this RF tube, in the front here we've got 74. On this RF tube, we've got 74. And on this RF tube, we've got 13. Is that right? Something going on there. There's the plate. That's 63. But 13 there. That just, eh, that doesn't, something about that seems wrong. Because on the high side of this resistor, we've got 73. On the low side of this resistor, we've got 13. Just doesn't seem right there. That could be why we have our weak thing going on there. Uh, da -da -da -da, catheter detector. <clears throat> yeah, they've got this primitive detector thing here, which I guess is this guy here, this black thing. So definitely some low voltages. Um, and that's kind of where we're at. So I'm trying to troubleshoot. Like, there's no printer resistor values on here. You're just supposed to figure out what they are. And this is supposed to have three number 24 tubes in it, according to the schematic. But if I look on the tube diagram of what I can see, you can see I've got a 47 output tube, a 24, a 35, and then obviously I can't read the other one. So this doesn't really match up. Uh, it's And I can't really make out the model. I don't know if that's a Model 50 or a Model 60. It's supposed to draw 50 watts. That's about what it draws. So, if anybody has a better schematic diagram of this thing, that would be great. Because I'm just kind of like going blind. And I'm looking up the different values of these tubes to try to figure out uh, what their voltages should be. Because to me, a lot of these voltages just are way low and 
The radio does run, though, but it just it runs poorly. I mean, really poorly. And, you know, when I come up around here and I get low voltage, it just kind of makes me wonder. So, yeah. Like, obviously, we've got filament activity inside of there. Nice, happy glow. That one is lit up, although it's a bit dimmer than the rest. So, yeah, I think I just need to find a better schematic diagram for this. It's obvious our voltages are a bit low. need to kind of find out why. Uh, but, yeah. So that's kind of where we're at. All right, so I think I know what's going on here finally. Uh, this schematic really doesn't add up to what's going on here. But what I've discovered is, is that I think this gain control here is at fault. This controls the resistance to ground for the cathodes. And I was noticing some strange voltage on the cathodes of the RF tube. And so this resistor here also is pretty high value. It should be close to about maybe 5 ohms, uh, but it's about 200 ohms. Well, just for grins and giggles, I grounded the low side of this control to bring the cathodes down. And if I just get the pot in the right spot... I'm just so frustrated when I hear any media people talk about two of them being back. This are too high for two ohms. Works like a champ. Management and hostess. I mean, really good. A million women leading in STEM by 2030. Joining us here again. And all my voltages on the cathodes and stuff kind of pop into place. And lower risk. We'd love to share with you what has worked for nearly. And then it just dies. So this pot is uh, rheostat, whatever you want to call it. It's trash. It has no no resolution whatsoever. You ask, we'll walk the office. No. And you just got to get it in the right spot. So I don't know what this value is supposed to be. I got to kind of play with it. But uh, making progress, really cool. So I need to find something that's isolated from the chassis, obviously, or use that old grommet and get something in there to make the uh, gain control work correctly. Then we got a functioning radio. How freaking awesome is that? All right, so here's the potentiometer. Actually, it's a rheostat. That's the gain control for the radio. And I took it apart, and as you can see in here, somebody has already attempted to make a repair on this. And if we zoom in a lot, we can see that there's an obvious break there and that somebody tried to go around that break with this uh, jumper thing. Actually pretty clever. And it made it so that it would kind of sort of work, but really it doesn't. So this is a 10K rheostat. I would guess about, I don't know, 5 watts, 10 watts. No idea. I've got some spare uh, 20k uh, rheostats multi-turn that I'm just going to tack in there and see if it'll work. And if so, then we'll get the correct part because I don't think I want to finagle with trying to make something else work. But let me show you where I'm at so far. Okay, so right now I've got a 20k rheostat uh, wired up where the old one is and I've got an additional 22k that I can shunt that with to make it look to the rest of the set like a 10k load and I just want to see that if by doing that and then maybe bypassing that resistor that's way out of tolerance there that's the uh, basically resistor to ground for the loading the cathode circuit of the RF tubes if we can bring up uh, acceptable performance on the RF stage and if so then we'll get the correct uh, rheostat to put in there. So let me fire this thing up and we'll see what it does. Alright, I'm a little bit cautious so I got it on the dim bulb tester. We're going to see if it runs or not. 
waiting for things to warm up right now. And I can just get my meter around to a place where I can take measurements. Starting to warm up. disturb my little test area here so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the uh, cathode voltages right I think it's still a little too negative or a little too positive rather very much positive If I turn that down, it's even more positive. All right. Okay. Let's clip in our additional 20K. That looks like a 10K load. And 8 volts, that's still too too high it needs to be more negative so let's go around this resistor let's just ground the cathodes Woo! yeah just not working right It sure does uh, piss off the load. So something ain't right here. And I think we just may need to find the right part unless I can finagle a way to make this one work better. Alright, so it was true I wasn't going to be able to find a potentiometer or excuse me, a rheostat that was about the values I wanted and the shaft length I wanted. So I actually tack soldered a wire around the dead spot and I discovered that uh, proper biasing in the RF tubes means that maximum gain has the cathode about 22 ohms off ground, so that's what this resistor is down here. And this is a voltage control resistor which limits the amount of positive voltage that can go to the cathodes, so that way I can have uh, a good range of gain. But it actually does work, work, which I'll show you here in a moment once I get everything all buttoned back up. So, yeah, pretty happy about this one. It actually runs. And this guy cast him so he hits the Saudi oil fields. Trump bides his time. Man of his word, they don't know how. Yeah, now the dial's stuck. Lovely. Okay. All right, I realigned the dial pointer, or excuse me, the little dial thingamajigus. Ninety-four twenty-fifth, and earlier, this report's about. And right now, there are young people across the world facing it. education or dropout. Alcohol. Everybody in our church had a shirt that can Salem surround can help you. Your weapon, a war powers resolution, will be introduced this week in the House to limit U.S. military action against Iran with no congressional approval. CBS News update. I'm Steve Kathan. Sounds pretty good. Now, 
from the studios of News 8, live, local, San Diego's talk, and breaking news. This is AM 760. A robbery in Linda Vista. I'm 760's Alan Lee. That's one of the stories we're following. So that's pretty cool. I'm like, I'm really stoked about that. So obviously I got to put a little dial lamp back in there, clean up the cabinet a little bit, install the uh, power switch back on that side. But look at that. I couldn't find any prints on this thing, so it just came a matter of down to experimenting and figuring out how to properly uh, tweak things around the busted control so that I could bias the tubes. And yeah, it's still a little touchy, but this guy just wants it to turn on and play, so it's not like a really mission-critical type thing, which is good, because uh, I don't know if I'd be able to get it perfect. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this. So maybe when I get it all back together and there's a final video, you'll be able to see it all cleaned up a little bit with a light and you know working much better. But uh hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video and uh, more stuff to come.